I just want a boyfriend. <sighs> it's about time, bitch. All right, what are my options? All right, so this one has a lot of money and he would treat you good and you'd be set for life. Uh, this one would be really, really nice to you and he treats his mom well. This one is like totally obsessed with you and in love with you. And these are all some really good ones. Actually, this one, this one doesn't want you at all, so ignore that one. And uh, this, wait, wh why doesn't that one want me? It doesn't matter, he would treat you like shit anyway and he's 5'7", so just ignore it. But, but wh what's his name? Are you serious? You have all these options. Yeah, I want that one, the one who doesn't want me. That's, that's the one I want. This bitch is dumb. Dumb. Dumb as hell. Can I have that one, please? Sure, take it. I don't. I don't give a f Just take it. Bad, 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 bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boys. Bad boys. Why? They're hot as. I love bad boys. <laughs> you like good boys. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Because uh, we want what we can have. Because they are kind of mysterious. They're attractive. Bad boys are strong. Bad boys are a project. Us as women always hope that we're going to be that one girl to change a bad boy. Sometimes women go after the unattainable bad boy because they want to be the reason that he changes. Or like I mentioned earlier, they are nurturers and they want to, in a sense, save the bad boy from himself. A bad boy is someone who shows he doesn't need anyone else for anything. He exhibits a sort of fierce, merciless independence. He appears to disregard others to get what he wants. He doesn't need no woman and doesn't pander to anyone else or ever suck up to anyone. <laughs> Not so much for women though. We don't really, we don't like kindness. No, we don't. We in don't. This, what is that about us? So we kind of like you to be a little bit- A bad boy. Yes. I don't understand that either. I mean Besides, negativity is attractive. The bad boy wears a dark aura around him, which also makes him attractive. Now on paper, a perfect guy is great, but in reality, you usually just end up as one of our friends. Amazing short-term strategies. The guys that make us feel so beautiful, so cool. They may be rich, they may be tall, they may be gorgeous, they may be having an exciting career that we're interested in, and then they disappear. Now us women have a phone book full of male friends. We love them, they are our lovable male friends and they're perfect. They're perfect men to have in our lives. But note the word lovable. Lovable is love without the attraction. Something that you, if you're watching this video, are definitely not aiming for. For a while, weeks, and then they come back again and everything's back on and they come and they go. They dance around conversations about commitment and they really are not the kind of guys that you're gonna settle down and have a long-term relationship with. Although plenty of women hold the fantasy. He exhibits abundant confidence in himself and his abilities, sometimes to the point of arrogance, impulsive risk-taking behavior, a huge dose of masculine competitiveness, aggressiveness, and with an element of being wild and savage. Oh, it's suddenly got really hot in here. The idea of living on the edge of life without fear is one of the most thrilling things to a lady. They feel that will be reproached into their romantic life, which is something that we kind of crave for. I think the main reason why girls go for bad guys is because of that excitement, that adrenaline rush they have whenever they're getting to flirt and talk with them and maybe even date them. If your parents don't like it, it makes it like a bit more exciting, rebellious. So it's just a bit of like a forbidden thing, which you can't do, so it makes you want to do it more because you think they'll be better in bed. <laughs> is it the confidence? Yeah, the confidence. They're challenged. Because their confidence shows that they're good in bed. Because if they make it easier, then it's kind of boring. Everyone wants their life to be like a movie. They want it dramatic and interesting. They want crazy things to happen and for there to be passion and fire in their relationship. For most girls, the idea of dating a bad guy fits perfectly with that mold of what they are looking for in life. It's that he gives off a feeling of confidence and power in the sense that he's confident enough in himself to not care what other people think. Women are psychologically drawn to men who appear to be powerful males that know what they want, the alpha males. We just know that with that comes confidence and it usually implies that he's driven. For those bad boys, well, they have an opinion and they both own it and express it. When I say they lead their own lives, I mean they're very invested in their own lives, in that getting puss isn't the be all and end all to their lives. Maybe they're moving up in their career and they're really excited about that and that's really all they can think about right now. Maybe they're in school and they're, they're gonna graduate soon and you know, I'm actually caring about my grades, girl, get off me. Bad boys are jealous. 
Now, I know this doesn't sound like it's a good reason to date a bad boy, but you know, sometimes a little jealousy in men can be really attractive to a woman. As a woman who was once attracted to bad boys, I believe what it is is um, the swag, you know, the confidence, tattoos. Um, they're just, they have a sense of danger about them, a sense of adventure, and they can be a challenge. They just have this allure that women are often drawn to. If a girl says a little jealousy isn't massively flattering, they're lying. Who the fuck was that guy you were just talking to? No one, he was just a random guy that came up to me. If you fucking talk to him again, I'm gonna punch him. God, you're sexy. They know what they want. And that is just very nice sometimes. Um, I think girls really like to be independent women and like to be seen that way. However, someone who is too sweet and indecisive is just very annoying for anyone. But it's a confidence that this man gives off that makes you even more attracted to him because he's really owning his power by being this unpredictable person. And you get hooked on this sort of adrenaline. Tip number two, you know that they're not permanent. So maybe you're not looking to fall in love or maybe you're scared to fall in love and dating bad boys is easy for you because they are not permanent and it's not something that you're looking for. So it seems like the bad boys are the winners here. They're confident, they're strong, it's appealing and this mysterious element is really selling with the women here. It seems like they want what they can't have and this kind of element is really attractive for the women. What I'm saying is that you shouldn't fall for the quick fix the instant high, the bad guy who slays your heart and traps you in this drug-like state of fantasy, which is not reality. As a bad boy, part of I don't care attitude and knowing that they can get replaced, making that woman know that, is that women have to understand this is a position. This is like having a job. If you want to be at the top, if you want to be the boss, if you want to be at least, you know, have the highest seniority, something like that. You don't want to be just a regular employee. ...able to her where he isn't to anybody else. And that is sort of this feminine fantasy is to be with somebody who has the capacity to manipulate and fuck over and deceive other people, but doesn't to her. Is, is so in love with her that he treats her really well and her family and her kids really, really well. And that is, that's what really optimally, I think, uh, women want because that's the kind of phenotype, that's the kind of man who could succeed in any environment. And he would make the kind of kids that could succeed, succeed in any environment.